Go. All right, morning year 11s. Once again, it is early and there's not many people around. And so Dr. Brownhill and Miss Hamilton and I are going to have a game of dice. Right, so what we've got here is we've built a graph with some meter rulers and we've got our dice here. If we look closely, each of them has got three red sides, two green sides and a yellow side. What we're going to do, we're going to roll the dice and then we're going to separate out all the ones that land red side up. Okay, so you ready? Here we go. Alright, go, go, go. Now what we'll do, we'll pick out the red ones and we're going to start to build a stack of them like you would if you were plotting a graph. Okay. <laughs> Music supplied by Dr. Brownhill. Okay, you guys collect on. Build. Are you the builder? Yeah, I'll build. I'll have some work, teamwork. See, this is good, you and We want teamwork. We can allocate people different roles. So this is really efficient. Now, there were 100 dice rolled. Each of the dice have got three sides painted red. So, how many would you predict landed red side up in that first row? Using your eyes. Okay, there we go. Now we collect the rest of the dice. Let's do the wrong again. What's that? No. <laughs> typical, that's what right. It's a typical boy behaviour. When you guys do this, don't throw them. Okay, now, again, you can have a little prediction about how many you think might have. Landed red side up this time. Have you got them all? Yep, yep, yep. Oh, there's one, there's one little tinker. Right, cut the rest, cut the rest. Dr. Bill. Okay, all red ones again, red ones again. Okay, year 11, now you get the idea. When you do this, you are going to have 400 cubes, not just 100. And what I want you thinking about is how this might be related to half-life and to decay of radioactive elements. That's your lot. <laughs>